Hey everyone, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be watching episode 5 of Lucifer season 5. And I can't wait to see what happens, especially between Maze and Lucifer and Lucifer and Chloe because a lot has gone down. Like, Maze just found out that Lucifer knew that her mom was alive and on earth he kept that from her and the whole chloe being a gift from god for lucifer chloe is not taking that news very well so it'll be very interesting to see how this all comes together so before we get into the episode, if you are enjoying my content, please be sure to subscribe. If you are enjoying this video, please be sure to give it a like. And if you have anything you want to say about the episode or the reaction, comment down below. And I would love to hear your thoughts on how this will affect, how the news from last episode will affect Maze and Lucifer's relationship. So let me know how you, what you think. Now, without further ado, let's get into the episode. Thank you for finally agreeing to meet with me, Detective. Oh, 57 phone calls, twice as many texts, the billboard off sunset. Oh, and the ill conceived stripper. Oh, in my defense, Roberto <laughs> came highly recommended. I love how he went through so much just to get Luce, uh, Chloe to talk to him. We don't think a gift is going to fix this. We are once again in agreement. Hold back, please. What are you doing? Well, you try not to barge into your home like this, but you won't at work. It's 7 a.m. And? It's good that you're here, actually. I need to speak with you about the detective quite urgently. She doesn't want me around as she's dealing with her identity crisis. Lucy, you should know. I should know better. I need to be patient. Yes, I am aware. <laughs> is she no, going to say that a good point. The problem is that Amanda deals back from hell? Work, and she's just going to avoid dealing with her issues. I need to speed her along to the part where everything's good again. Thing is, Amanda deals. Is down in hell waiting for me to return. Yes, I'm aware. Why do you think I'm in such a bloody hurry? Yes. Doctor, I need to clear things up with the detective before I go home. Because once I relieve my brother, oh, there he is. I'll be back. It's not like I can just leave hell unattended and the men are deal. No. Hey, listen. Why didn't you tell me he was here? <laughs> she was trying to. <laughs> brother, why are you here? <sighs> I was wandering the corridors of hell. I heard a voice. A voice that I never expected to hear in hell. Well, who was it? Mother Teresa, Mr. Rogers, Adele? Father. Dad. Wait, you. what? Well, go on then. What did he say? He told me that hell no longer requires a ward. And? And that's it. So, I came up here to see my son. I've only been back a few hours, Lucy. I was going to find you next. Let me get this straight. I just spent millennia down there, diligently doing everything he asked, without complaint, and you have one sleepover in hell, and Dad tells you your watch is over. Well, you know the father works there. If you finish that sentence, I will punish you in your mysterious ways. <laughs> so, first the detective, now this, talk about salt in the wound. What happened with Chloe? Is she all right? Oh, I wouldn't know. She's been keeping me at arm's length ever since Michael told her she's a gift from God. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, does she know that? What, that you're the one who delivered the gift? No. Her brain was already plenty melted without adding that to the mix. <laughs> and you abandoned her, Maze. 
it, it, it's not technically abandonment maze. She knew that the baby, she couldn't give the life the baby deserved. Back. Wait, does that mean it was her? No, no, he's still here. But everything in hell has been taken care of. Well, I have no idea what that means, but just add it to the list. Yeah, I heard. Now I'm going to stick to police work and avoid anything God related. Oh, so that's what that. She looks like an angel. My uncle knew she would this morning. So, huh? Sounds like a prison. Oh yeah. So that, that's an old school term for their room. Uh, hi, long time fan, first time visitor. Almost signed out myself, actually. I was just wondering, uh, <laughs> Sister Victoria, has she been upset lately? Or Ella, so adorable. Well, Sister Victoria did just find out that she was being accepted into our order. She was so happy. We're so blessed God sent you here to find who did this detective. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Well, yes, that's what God does. Yep. Mm. Sends me here, sends me there, kills a nun. Just so I can meet all of you. Um, you can excuse us, just we'll be right back. Oh, yeah. yeah, someone's a little upset with God. What, what are you doing? You can't insult them like that. Sorry. Was unprofessional. Yeah, well, more importantly, you're making me look bad in front of the nuns. You're hiding something. It's obvious. Well, I haven't seen them opening up to you now. Sure, my Hey, I know I said that I needed space, but I could really use your expertise on this case. You know, a comment in Silver Lake, off Coral and Galvin. How long do you think it's going to take this? Get here. Oh, of course. <laughs> Angel and all that. How can I help you, Chloe? Aww, Benadiel. She called him Benadiel. Yeah, I don't think Lucifer would be welcome there. Daniel. Yes? The detective doesn't want me helping on that case right now. I really can't imagine why you can't, actually. But uh, I need to speed along her work, which is when I realized that you for once could be the answer to my problem. Bracelet bros for the win. He's still wearing the bracelet. No. Regardless, I thought that you and I could help her case along from behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. But what do you think you're saying? <laughs> this is Chloe's case. I'm mean, digging through background checks, witness statements. This is what you're taking. By the way, is this Richard Spate's episode? Standing in his walls. Reminds me of being in the Silver City. Wait, this is what heaven looks like? No. No, but there's so much love for my father here, it feels so... And yet also so very different. How can I help you, Chloe? I do have to remind you that uh, I can't slow down time like I used to. I didn't even know that that was an option. Oh. Well, what can you do? Well, I am God's greatest warrior. Well, as much as I love the mental image of you punching a bunch of nuns, <laughs> you're freezing me out, and I thought with you being an angel and all, maybe you could use that. Chloe, I can't expose myself to that. <laughs> oh, well, I heard that wrong. That's not what I meant. I was thinking more along the lines of like, Lucifer's mojo. Do you have the same effect on people? Sorry, I don't. Really? Because there's a whole bunch of nuns. But <laughs> I 
I believe you have the same mojo. Thank you for coming back. For being willing to listen. I haven't told anyone. No. Okay, this isn't his episode. I got pregnant when I was 17. And I spent the entire pregnancy in denial. And who would want to hurt Sister Victoria? Well... I, I'm not, I'm not sure. Do you know of anyone who would want to hurt Sister Victoria? Yes, I do. Who? The devil, of course. Anyone <laughs> else? You are the most beautiful person I've ever seen. Thank you. The question was, do you know of anyone who would want to hurt Sister Victoria? Oh, right, no, I don't, sorry. I, don't I love how... I kill that wonderful soul. <laughs> I love how Amenadiel's doing this. Yes. It's a secret. But who can lie to those gorgeous eyes? So the mother superior of the nunnery is a murderer? Mm -hmm. Apparently Mother Angelica committed the crime years ago and then ran away and joined this convent. She's been here ever since. Most of the nuns knew about it, but they were just protecting her. Well, until you gave them some of your mojo. Yeah, I can't explain that. That's never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> They're nuns. You're an angel. Maybe they sensed that. Maybe. Maybe I'm just glad it helped. <laughs> well, maybe our victim found out the truth and wanted to go to the police. Mother and... Mm -hmm. These are all just the files on Mother Angelica. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to take forever. It'll be much faster in person, Daniel. I can seduce the truth out of them. Bro, there are 30 nuns there. I doubt that's faster. But it's certainly more fun. Come on, this is fun. Is it? A murder, man. It's like a, it's like a gigantic puzzle. Only you don't know what the corner pieces are. Or what's going to look like when it's done. You just described torture. Trust me. I got it. <laughs> hours, days, years even, man. Definitely torture. I see all your self-help nonsense has gone for naught. But nothing in the world feels better than when you find that one piece. And boom. Suddenly it all clicks together. Oh, hello. Oh, I think I found a piece, Daniel. Shortcuts are not the answer, Lucifer. Hard work. I actually thought there was a list of names on there, and he actually knew one of the names. Aha! The detective already has a suspect. Excellent. Brother, we'll see. What on earth are you doing here? Well, he asked me to help on a case. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're not joking. He's also in a different outfit. I Interesting. I quickly. Much as I appreciate you playing Detective Amenadiel, perhaps you should uh, leave it to the professionals. Like the devil. I'm a consultant for death. Then on the day before her death, the client missed calls. The victim wasn't answering her phone. Maybe somebody got tired of being ignored. Well, that can't be right. Why? That's Destiny Page's number. No one in their right mind would ignore her. Wait, Destiny Page? The pop star? Hmm? How would you know her number? Oh, well, honey, you don't want to know. Okay. Well, as long as it speeds things along, it actually might be a new lead. Great work, Lisa. Take that back. Oh. Destiny Page. Why would Destiny Page be calling a nun at a convent that she wants to buy? Well, her latest album was a testament to a newfound faith, and the one that she's working on now is supposed to continue in that vein. Please don't tell us her. Yeah, you're safe with me. <laughs> he Destiny listens to Destiny Page. Oh, how adorable. We met a deal. Ready? Her name's Adriana. I always wondered what they named her. Hmm. 
Hello. Great to see you. Wow. She's so much like I, Linda. You are. I'm sure. Excuse me? That you look exactly like you do on the bus posters. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. That's a Linda. She's your potential buyer. I'm sorry, I know we don't have an appointment. It's fine. Come on in. Welcome. Well, yeah, you don't just pretty. just drop bombs like that, Maze. If you ladies wouldn't mind signing in, thank you. Two house for the first time can be very overwhelming. I just need time to warm up to this space. All the time you need. And if you have any questions as we go, feel free to ask. I do. But who knows when? <laughs> Or if Adriana will ever be ready to see me. I'm realizing it needs to be up to her. Coward. I'm not Lilith. If you have something you need to say to your mother, you should say it to her. Ooh, Linda. I mean, she's not wrong about the whole needing to bring it up to uh, well the needing it to be her the daughter's the choice not Linda's Lucifer I want Chloe to resolve her issues just as much as you do why am I actually feeling guilty why would I feel guilty? Because you're the one who performed the little miracle on the detective's mum in the first place. That wasn't mine. You what? <gasps> oh. oh, snap. Go ahead, Puck. Years ago, at Father's behest, I came down to Earth to lay a blessing on one Penelope Decker. What do you want to do? We're trying to have kids, and they said they just about given up. Soon after my visit, you were born. I met a deal. You're my dad. Oh, I'm in a deal. Whoa, whoa, it's all right. I've listened to your music. I know you're a person of faith, so I'm pretty sure that I should have a um, calming effect on you. That's right. Hey! Hi! Hi! What are you doing here? Oh, wait, wait, he's here. Hey, wait, he's with me. Is he? What's he doing in here? Tell me about the 
But if you look close enough, you'll see the sun rising. Let the ocean set you free. why a fiancé would be upset she had embraced the life of a nun. However, we have no proof, no idea who the fiancé is. We don't even know if the fiancé is a him. Right. So for now... Excuse me. Look, look. Is there somewhere we could speak in private? Of course. I, I meant my him. I'm nervous. <laughs> I love that look he just gave. It's all right, Sister Francine. You can trust me. I've wanted to do this ever since I met you. But I'm scared. I understand. I do. But listen. Once you admit the truth, you are going to be amazed at how good it feels. I've never done anything like this before. I haven't either. It's just that I'm a woman of faith. Well, you see, that's all the more reason. Is she gonna kiss Benadiel? You of all people know what you need to do. Right here. Right now. Yes. Just let it all go. Mm. I knew that was gonna happen. Remember Daniel, their natural cuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lucifer's enjoying that too much. What are you doing? I know. Like you said, I, I'm admitting the truth of my feelings for you. That, that's, that's, that's not what I meant. I'm a nun. I thought of God. It's just... When I look at you, I get this feeling that I've never had before. I've always wanted my own That's secret fun. room. Well, I realized that Destiny Page would have the blue card since she was interested in buying the building. Since it's already at worst for her, that's how she'd know about the secret place. Yeah, her mom called her a mess. And you killed her? Just wanted to talk some sense into her, but we started to fight. I wanted the ring back in. I didn't mean to push her so hard. Why? Why would she choose this place over me? We had something real. Instead, she left me for made up nonsense. I think we've heard enough, right? Not too. That is very gentlemanly of you to die first. <laughs> now, what if it wasn't fake? What if it was more real than even she could possibly know? And you, Hank, you took that away from her. No, no, no. It's impossible. <gasps> oh, wow. What are you doing, Amenadiel? Have faith, Hank. Oh. 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 Stay away from me! I thought you weren't supposed to expose yourself. No, I'm yet to say anything. Because she's gone. She died, Linda. Yes.
Can we stop torturing Maze, please? Like, I hate when we torture Maze. He's got a new piano. And Chloe's there. Why did he buy the set? Please. Alright, I really want to know what Amenadiel said to her. I had a uh, interesting conversation with Amenadiel. Please tell me you're not making him please himself with anything but that. <laughs> well, actually, he has um, a theory about why I make you vulnerable. Well, do you tell? Well, his theory is that I don't. Well, I have many scars to prove otherwise. He thinks that you choose to be vulnerable around me. Ooh, that's interesting. Used to be vulnerable around you. Yay! 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 Oh my god. I love that ending. That ending was amazing. That Chloe listened to Amenadiel and believed what he said because Amenadiel was right. That Chloe and Lucifer's relationship was more than just what God put into place. They actually truly do love each other and I love that. And I love Amenadiel's, th Amenadiel's theory on how Lucifer chooses to be vulnerable around Chloe. That's, that, was, that, that brings like that whole situation to a different level. And I love it. And Maze. Like, can we stop hurting Maze, please? Can we stop hurting Maze? Like, I really hate that. It's like, I just want to give her a hug. Let her beat me up a little, get her in a girl, you know. She deserves so much. She deserves the world. Maze does. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, and if you are enjoying my content, please be sure to subscribe, and as always, if you have anything you want to say about the episode or the reaction, please comment down below, and until next time, bye guys.